Perfect. That's my rod. I think this is a part of, or these are parts from the piston. This is definitely a weak part of this engine and not a tuning issue because original cars, original engines have the same problem. Now after 120,000 kilometers, um, my car is broken. And sorry for the German people that I make this video now in English, but I think it's uh, more important to make this in English because of the Gia Corolla driver in, uh, in the States and uh, everywhere on the world you can understand English. And uh, it's not only a problem from us German people or of the Autobahn or something else. It's a, it's a problem for all the GIRs and Chia Corolla driver on the world. So today we are gonna disassemble the engine, the transmission and all the stuff. I'm looking forward to what's um, definitely <laughs> trash on this engine. Um, I think cylinder one is yeah the rod off, the block is gone. Maybe the head also, we will see. I hope not, but if then we have to change the head also. So I'm not, <laughs> it's not already open, but <laughs> dropped a part, I think, from the block. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. So now there are more engine parts. Hmm. Somebody wants a souvenir. And <laughs> I think you know what this is. It is the Mm, piece between the uh, rod and the piston. I don't know the word in English. <laughs> and yeah, there you can see, cool, see coolant and oil. It looks pretty nice. No, it was a joke. Nothing looks nice here anymore. You can see here the Klima compressor completely knocked off from the block and there are pieces from the block like on the ground oh this looks like a rod this looks like a rod but uh, i think i had much luck because on the side i can see nothing there's nothing opened and on the back also so maybe i'm so lucky that the um transfer transmission is okay many cars or many engines from the GIRs who uh, have a um, broken block because of the first cylinder um, because of the oil pressure problem um, yeah they are knocked off completely around on the front on the side on the back and there are the transmissions also broken and some things yeah but I think I'm lucky but we will see soon so i took off my klima compressor <laughs> it's completely ripped off and especially that's my rod i think this is a part of or these are parts from the piston yeah there you can see the crankshaft there's a window open completely there's the cylinder yeah um the other, other piece from the um rod yeah so now we have to disassemble the engine completely so now the engine is completely disassembled you can see it here our window to the crankshaft and yeah the head is also broken you can see it from the bottom so finally I got the drive shaft out. The problem is you can't um, pull the drive shaft out because you have here two holes and at the block you have two pins so you can't move the drive shaft out. You can disassemble it and uh, the, the transfer axle is mounted at the normal transmission like on an e Lancer Evo. So I disassembled the transmission with the transfer uh, yeah, so I can put it a little bit away, away from here, from the block, to get out of the pins. 
Thank you, P3LVO, P3LWO, PLO. So thank you, Chris, for the tip. You can see Chris Carr here on Instagram. And uh, yeah, he has very, very nice um, mods, very, very nice GIRs with sequential gearbox and something else. Very awesome. Yeah, so I can disassemble the transmission now and then the hat. Yo. And there we can see our piston from cylinder one. Here, some pieces of the, of the piston in the exhaust after the wars. <laughs> Heavy. Oh, finally I got it off. The transmission, the engine, the engine. So it's all very rusty like on a 15 year old car and here's some oh, here's some cuckoo and here's some bigger cuckoo yeah and on the other side you already see you have already seen the big hole the big cuckoo so so the oil pressure problem the problem at the GIRS is if you have semi slicks or something else and do hard brakes the oil pressure can drop um chris told me not even the semi slicks cars have this problem all the engines have this problem and if you drive a cyvex ecu you um, will recognize this problem because if the oil pressure drops under one bar then the car goes into the limp mode so the oil pressure drops and without a Cyvex, it drops also, but you don't know because the car does not recognize and it does not go into the limp mode. So it happens to the people all the time and they don't know that their um, oil pressure drops below one bar and it's definitely a problem. Yeah, and if the oil pressure drops underneath one bar and you have 6,000 RPM or 5,000. It's a lot of uh, revolutions for so <laughs> less pressure of oil, uh, oil. You can have this many times and stretch the bearing from the rods a little bit or from the crankshaft and next time scratch it again a little bit and again a little bit, again a little bit. and. Um, yeah, now after 120,000 kilometers, um, my car is broken. Yeah, the bearing and the rod, the connecting rod, is literally welded on my crankshaft. The rod wasn't bent because of too much torque or something else. The rod is welded to my crankshaft and then it knocked off and yeah, crashed all the internals of my engine on cylinder one and the hat and the valves and all together this is definitely a weak part of this engine and not a tuning issue because original cars original engines have the same problem and get completely ripped off after some time or using on the track with hard brakes and something we have to improve this engine and we have to um, beware us of these problems so that you don't get a uh, ripped off engine like me. <laughs> so um, I had a problem with my gearbox also. Um, the second gear jumps out sometimes and um, I tried to um, figuring out why, but uh, Chris told me lump speed has uh, um, improvement for the gearbox and they know why uh, it's a known issue also so we have an issue with the engine we have an issue with the gearbox but uh, with the gearbox okay um, after a time every gearbox goes broke but this gearbox goes broke very fast <laughs> but more the people's uh, with I think the most problems with the gearbox the people have is um, with the third gear uh, that this is uh, grinding or scratching somewhere instead of the pressed clutch. So um, 
yeah there's there's something with the synchronization and uh, yeah but i don't know what especially the problem is yeah back to the engine or the oil pressure problem some people uh, overfill their uh, engine or uh, increase their oil volume by 0 0.5 liters so the oil pressure does not drop underneath one bar it drops until 1.1 1.2 bars i think to overfill the engine with oil is yeah not not the baddest idea and a very good short term solution for this problem to don't let the draw let the oil pressure drop underneath uh, one bar what should we do to improve the engine to don't break up our engines we need to prepare the system um, of uh, drawing air so um, lamp speed has a buffer kit and yeah i think no no chris told me that uh, phil from ritaly racing has the buffer kit from lamp speed racing and this buffer kit uh, minimizes the oil from um, um, snapping front and back and uh, that the intake for the oil um, or of the oil pump cannot anymore i uh, cannot um, drawing air anymore so it every time draws oil so if we drive a buffer kit like this we can minimize this problem if the corolla has no no stock buffer kit and the same oil volume than the gr yaris then they have the same problem so if you use the car on the track or faster road also it's um then you have to improve your engine take some mods to get um yeah more durability for your engine and not a rid of engine like me so i i'd like to prepare you from the problems i have and uh yeah that's the reason why i will drop this video very early before i already know what i will do with my car now um i'm thinking about the rebuild from the engine off the engine but this will be very expensive and uh, with mods on the car the guarantee from toyota um you will not get an engine so you have to oh i have to um buy the parts of myself of my own money and uh, yeah if somebody of you knows a good engine or a crashed car or something like that you can uh, write me on instagram and uh, i'm thinking about um, buying a used engine i'd like to have to proof it to check the engine and then i will um, mount a baffle kit yeah and overfill it a little bit i think so and then we can go further tuning the tirs with upgrade turbocharger and something like this and i don't like to end this tir story at the moment i like the car i love the car i like to do more on this car i like to drive more with this car on track and something else so this story must go on <laughs> so if you like the video give me a thumb up please um you can discuss with discuss with me in uh, in the comments uh, subscribe my channel there will be more videos about um this um this story and something uh yeah i hope you have a nice day and yeah see you next time